Could this be the beginning of uncrewed tanks on the battlefield? These prototypes of heavy UGVs are being put to the test by the Armoured Trials and Development Unit at Bovington. The challenges will help the team understand their capabilities. We're not talking small drone things that, that you may have seen on the news in Ukraine or elsewhere. We're now looking at big platforms that can carry between one and up to four tonnes so that we're starting to see how they could potentially fight alongside our armoured vehicles currently in service in the British Army. So are we essentially looking at the beginnings of the uncrewed tanks of the future? Yes and no. So, so long term, yes, but actually in, in real terms, um, it will be a long while before the, the, you know, the, the slightly frightening terms of killer drones uh, are, are a reality on the scale we, we are here to see. However, there is absolutely a space where a platform without anybody in it can do things on the battlefield at large scale, whether it be carry a gun or move forward with sensors so that it can achieve a task without putting at risk the lives of British soldiers. Embracing innovative technologies is the role of the Defence Equipment and Support Agency. Its aim is to help provide the armed forces with the most advanced equipment needed to maintain an operational edge. The Future Capability Group is a part of that and set the challenge to defence companies. So the British Army requires um, an uncrewed vehicle um, in the mounted close combat role. So this we're looking at three tonne plus uh, uncrewed ground vehicles in this instance. Uh, we ideally want them with autonomous capabilities, but that's not a requirement from um, ATDU. That's more of uh, our input for our, our, our future development. Over the course of two weeks, the vehicles are subjected to a number of tests. For example, how fast can they go, how easily can they cross difficult terrain, and how good is their communication system? The first laps are done purely by remote, so as in you're driving a remote control car. Uh, and the idea is firstly just to get, make, make sure that the operators are comfortable with the ground so they can have a bit of a ground recce, make sure that the vehicles can, can get around it. Uh, once they've completed that loop via remote control, they're then going to set down a permanent command station here uh, and do the, the same loop again but via teleoperation, which means they'll drive it from a, 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 dis, a greater distance via cameras or their command consoles. All of the vehicles had some form of communication failure. It's thought the density of the trees caused the problems. That's the whole point in what we're doing here. We're trialling the vehicle, finding out where it's weak so that these guys can go away and work on those points. And so they've identified a communication issue because of trees and because of ground. And they'll go away and, you know, enhance that so it doesn't happen again. The ATDU is one of five trials and development units under the Experimentation and Trials Group. All are pioneering new capabilities to help shape the army of the future. Claire Sadler, Forces News, Bovington in Dorset. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.